Carrie has been wanting to make a YouTube video. What do you wish you would have known before you bought a boat? Brian uh, started showing the YouTube video saying, well, maybe we should do this. There's a lot of negatives to being on a boat. Um, it's a harsh life. It is a harsh life. What is the video that you wish maybe you would have seen? <laughs> this is Joel. Together with Tony and Jared, he gave up everything to buy a boat and go on the adventure of a lifetime. But after a death-defying sail to Cuba, he returned to Key West and found himself wish alone. Wish me luck on this adventure. When Michael finished school, I asked her to sail with me to the Bahamas. Four months later, we made it to the Dominican Republic. Broke and in love. Bums on a Boat is a true story about facing fear, finding adventure, and falling in love. Each tale is brought to you by our patrons and viewers. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about weekly premieres and visit our website to learn more. Thank you for watching. are the tales of Boab. One full Johnny. Hey, so it's been over a month since we started it. Beautiful. Yeah. Gotta love this old Johnson. Who out there likes Johnson? Who out there hates Johnson? I can say over the last five years, I've become a big Johnson fan. Well, the dinghy is staying inflated. Johnny started. So what does that mean? Well, last week, if you watched, we talked about the hardest thing about this cruising lifestyle. And this week, we're gonna take you along for a day of adventure. Are you ready for an adventure, Are Lola? Are you trying to get in a dinghy? Before our adventure, we decided to dismount our old CQR anchor, which is what we used up until this point, which had a little bit of a rusty chain and the line was not looking so hot and we replaced it with our new Mantis anchor. The best chain we have, which was totally looking good and the best line on the boat as we are preparing to sail east along the south coast of Puerto Rico. Okay, plans have changed. It's really not the greatest weather today. The sun's coming out right now, but overall it's pretty cloudy. It's been raining. There's a little bit of a front rolling in. So we're not gonna go over to the beach and do some snorkeling, but we are gonna hang out with our friends, Brian and Carrie. Who out there knows the pivot? You don't wanna lift up your foot in basketball, right? You gotta keep it, keep it going. You don't wanna travel. So we had to keep our foot on the ground so we can pivot left, pivot right. Give a juke for three. So we're not going to the beach right now because uh, our inside guys who just bought a house here, this is their beautiful boat that we're standing in front of. They said we should hold off. The front's rolling in. They said the cloud cover and the rain is going to make the visibility in the water bad. And we want you guys to see all the cool stuff underwater. So. Our pivot is we are going to meet Brian and Carrie. When Brian gets here, we're gonna have him, I'm gonna ask if he'll let us just take a look at his boat. Not a boat tour, just a quick, you guys gotta see this boat. Plus, uh, Brian and Carrie are dog lovers. They have four dogs. I think they have four dogs, right babe? They have four dogs or something like that. And Lola's been over there once already and it was a hit. They all got along super well. So she's gonna have fun, get to play with some other dogs. And yeah, I think this is a good pivot. Here's Brian himself. And I asked Brian three really important questions. What's the name of the boat? What year is the boat built in? And where was it built? It's a Fortuna, it's built in South Africa. It's an Island Spirit 401 and it is a 2008 model. And it's an owner's version. And we're gonna do a quick run through. Okay. It's not a boat okay. tour, but I thought you guys might like to see this boat, so.
now that you guys have seen the beautiful turtle tracks, we're headed up to Peanut's Palace. You'll get to meet the famous Peanut as well, and we're gonna get to know Brian and Carrie and their amazing story. You're looking at the beach that we were intending on going to today. So Brian and Carrie have an epic view of the beach. They also have private access. So we'll probably take the gator down there just to show you the beach. We might not jump in the water and try to get, spear a fish, but we'll check it out hopefully around sunset just to show you this beach because it is gorgeous. Sounds like Lola wants to go to the beach. Lola always wants to go to the beach and she will come with us. We have asked Carrie and Brian a question. In fact, Carrie has been wanting to make a YouTube video of her own for a while, and this is her chance. She is going to tell you some things you might need to know before you go ahead and buy a boat. Things that maybe she wished she had known. And if you already have a boat or you've already done the boat life, maybe you can weigh in on this. What do you, do you agree? Um, or maybe you can add some things to this. But Carrie and Brian are here now. We're gonna just get them talking. They have a, an amazing story, but the, the root of this question is going to be, what do you wish you would have known before you bought a boat? What did you originally want to do, Carrie, before the boat idea? I wanted to buy a house on an island and um, live on it maybe half the year and be in the States half the year because we have a home in Georgia, or did, and um, rent it out the rest of the time. And, you know, I have a uncle that lives in Panama, so we looked there, we looked in Honduras, mm -hmm. and when we got back, Brian uh, started showing me YouTube video saying, well, maybe we should do this. And that's how the boat thing started. Yeah, because instead of having a house, we'd have a house and the whole world was our back door. <laughs> so that was the, you know, the, the plans. And watching SV Delos. And, so you know, do you think the... that watching the YouTube channels is how you sold the idea to Carrie? Or what do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> oh, was it big... sold it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, watching all the people running around partying. Well, it wasn't so much the party, no. it was the adventure of it. To us. Getting to go to different islands, not being stuck just on one, seeing different things um, is what is what sold me. Mm -hmm. So, how long did you live aboard? We did slash cruise. We did well. That happened for three, almost four years, but we pretty much were six months or so on the boat and then we'd go home and on hurricane season we'd pretty much go home yeah. and okay. we'd go home during hurricane season yeah. okay okay so we would stay in georgia for six months and be on the boat six months mm -hmm. sometimes longer you know just depending on what was going on in either place so we we were fortunate um we didn't sell everything we owned to buy a boat which a lot of people do so the question now is what what is the video that you wish maybe you would have seen? <laughs> what are some things to consider that you didn't feel like were conveyed in these videos? Well, since then, I think a few people have done things, but not not just talked about all the negative. And um, I think that, that before someone sells everything they own, buys a boat, thinks life's going to be just wonderful, it is, it is very unique. You get to go places you don't normally get to go otherwise. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of negatives to being on a boat. Um, yeah, it's a harsh life. It is a harsh life. Yeah. Uh, it's hot as hell. Um, you know, we didn't have an air conditioner on our boat. And so um, if it's raining, we'd have to close the hatches. We're sweating, trying to cook. You're, you're burning up. Um, there's bugs, flies, mosquitoes all around mm -hmm. you. You can't get away from it. It's just really um, can be miserable at times. Getting on and off the boat can be uh, <laughs> crazy. Um, wow. I have bad knees, so trying to maneuver on the boat, getting on and off, getting on the dinghy, um, going to shore was can be hard. It can be really hard. And what was the final straw that broke the camel's back? Uh, it, it was no final straw. COVID happened. And we were sitting, deciding what we're going to do. We're going to sit here on this boat and not do anything. Or we didn't know what to do. And we finally 
with the COVID happening and everything, we put the house on the market back home, sold it, and through a lot of legwork from her, found this house here and ended up buying it. We sold out and moved within a month. Yeah. And we were gone. We sold our house it in just three happened. days. It just happened just like that. And we bought this one but we almost immediately. But we still want to do things on our boat. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. We're not I done. do love boat life. So um, I would not tell someone not to buy a boat. That's uh -huh. not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying and people, before you buy a boat, realize that it's not all happy. You're going to islands and you're just not working. And mm. it, boat work is hard. It's uh, keeping it clean, maintaining. Um, and people who want to come and find out what it's like to live on the boat, we, you know, offer that experience. You can get in touch with them. That's and, so your plan moving forward is to keep the boat. Yes, we're keeping the boat. It. And I went and got my captain's license and now mm -hmm. I run charters. Let's go! Oh, if you fun. hold it out like this, it'll look bigger. Subscribe for seven years of good luck and stay tuned. And um, our boat, we were trying to charter it more for the uh, experience of people who want to, like, are interested in buying catamarans and, you know, doing all these, you know, long extensive cruising. Uh, just chartering a boat's one thing, but spending time with people who have done it and everything to really get a feel of what's going on. And to be on a boat, because yeah. <laughs> I'd never been on a boat. Uh, I lived in Georgia. I was landlocked. So uh, buying a boat and living on it was completely a, a different environment. So it's not a bad idea to be on a boat for a little bit before you mm -hmm. buy one and make sure it's something you want to do. Somebody that's watching thinking about buying a boat, maybe they're saving up. What comes to your mind, whatever's natural comes to your mind right away. What would you tell somebody that wants to buy a boat and live on it and cruise? It's very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Very expensive. It's way more expensive than you realize. Mm -hmm. No matter how you um, don't go out to eat, you don't do this or that, mm -hmm. boats Taking just care, break down boat. and are just really, really expensive. And you better know how to be a mechanic, mm -hmm. how to run wire, you how to be very do self -sufficient all the things it. that a boat requires. And if you can't do those things, you probably shouldn't buy a boat. Mm -hmm. Check out this amazing island house that Brian and Carrie live in. So we told you about the infamous Mr. Peanut and this handsome devil is Peanut. He would like to welcome you to his palace. This is Peanut's palace. beautiful right what you might not know is eight years ago Brian was at his lowest of lows he mm -hmm. was homeless and what what else could you say lowest of low How, lowest I mean, of lows. life wasn't too good eight years ago but for ones of you are struggling you can turn your lives around I was literally homeless in the street years ago and I met my wonderful wife and she helped swing my life around my dad said something smart to me one time. He said, always surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. 
And don't ever let that ego, you know, don't let your ego get above you. Surround yourself with people who are better, smarter, and learn from them. We're going to check out the beach. A big thank you to Brian and Carrie for hosting us at their beautiful home and also letting us do some laundry there. Thank you for watching and thanks to all of our wonderful patrons. We strive to show you what living on a boat is really like. And Carrie's story definitely added some perspective. Now, if her story scared you away, it's probably for the best. And if not, let's go, baby. Yeah.